What's up, gang? Chris from uh, S10 Fitness again. Uh, you might remember me from such videos as Bicep Curl Number One or Oral Testaball, by far and away the greatest commercial primal muscles ever put out. I uh, want to give you a tip today for the back squat. Um, like I said before on the front squat video, I get a lot of requests for squat variations that limit um, or eliminate shoulder pain. So a lot of guys deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis, and I want to show you a little quick tip to get you under the bar more comfortably and into a better position. So you don't have to hold all the way out at the collars like you might be doing now, and you'll be able to keep a tighter upper back and hopefully squat more weight, which is the whole idea why we're here. Um, your traditional grip on the bar is normally somewhere between here or here, give or take height variations. But normally when you set up underneath, you want to keep the bar right about here. Some of you like a high bar position, which is totally fine. All I'm showing you is if you have issues with this position here, an easy tip to rotate your elbows under tighter is to slide your pinkies off the bar and then you'll be able to keep a tighter rack position when you do so. So for some of you, this will just be a lot more comfortable. Your elbows will be directly under the bar, your head will be neutral, your lats will be tight, and your traps will be supporting that bar properly. So if you're this guy and have to keep your elbows high because of wrist mobility or shoulder mobility, give this a try. It's not any harder to hold onto the bar and then you'll be able to keep yourself stacked up properly and ready to squat. Two quick fixes, hopefully getting you back under the bar and back to where you need to be, which is doing legs.